Hey everybody, you're watching We The Fandom, where we discuss comic books, pop culture, and the fandom experience. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content. How's it going everybody? Jacob here at We The Fandom, reviewing episode 3 of Loki. This show was on a roll for the first two episodes, but this episode seemed a lot more like a distraction. Kind of like a pit stop. There was one big reveal though, and we'll get to that towards the end of the video. But the episode starts off with Sylvie and the TVA agent that she had kidnapped in episode 2 at a restaurant drinking margaritas. This is all an illusion created by Sylvie to trick the TVA agent into giving her the location of the timekeepers. Now jump to Sylvie and Loki, both jumping through that time portal in that last episode, and they both ended up at the TVA, which is swarmed by guards, running everywhere trying to figure out how to fix the problem that Sylvie caused when she teleported all those time reset devices into the TVA. And given that magic can't be used, Sylvie has to fist fight her way to the elevators, which is where she thinks she'll get to the timekeepers. But just before she gets to them, Loki shows up. The two end up fighting again, and when Ravana Renslayer and some other TVA guards arrive, Loki uses a temp pad that he got from Sylvie's pocket and teleports them away. Where they end up teleporting to is a planet called Lamentis in the year 2077. And as Sylvia explains, Lamentis happens to be where the worst apocalyptic events in that temp pad had happened because the moon of that planet ends up slowly crashing into the planet itself. Obviously, the two need to leave, but the temp pad is out of juice. And while they continue to bicker and kill each other, eventually they get to realize that they need to find a larger power source to reboot the device and so they decide to kind of work together. After rummaging through a small town and learning of a large evacuation ship called the Ark, which they realize can help them recharge the temp pad, they end up using illusions to trick their way onto a train that's traveling to the Ark. Now this train ride scene seems like it's kind of just there to kill time, because while Loki reveals a lot about himself to Sylvie, including stuff that we've already known from previous movies, we really don't learn that much about her, other than that Sylvie is actually an alias, meaning she really is a Lady Loki, and she also reveals to him how to enchant people. Due to Loki getting drunk on the train and a fight ensuing with the train guards, Loki and Sylvie end up getting kicked off the train, literally, and in the fall, the temp pad ends up breaking. Obviously, Sylvie gets pretty mad while Loki is kind of lackadaisical at this point. Kind of seems to give up due to the planet about to be destroyed in the middle of an apocalyptic event, and they don't have any way off the planet. As Sylvie reveals that in history, the Ark never actually makes it off the planet. But Loki says that the Ark has never had Lokis on it. So they continue their journey to the Ark on foot, and we get the reveal from Sylvie that everyone working at the TVA is actually a variant. Meaning, the reason Mobius likes jet skis so much despite never having been on one because he works at the TVA is because he actually used to be a real person who was probably either a fan of jet skis or rode jet skis in his own time. Despite their best attempts, Loki and Sylvie don't make it to the Ark in time because they're trying to fight their way through a riot. Uh, a bunch of guards kind of try to stop them, and then the Ark gets destroyed by a piece of the moon that was crashing into the planet. And so we're left on this huge cliffhanger where that had literally been their last resort, and we have no idea how Loki and Sylvie are getting off this planet, getting out alive, and making it to wh whatever they're trying to do next. Now, except for a few revelations, you start to realize that this whole episode was kind of a waste of time, as they neither found a power source for the temp pad, or made it off the planet with the Ark. Despite all the dialogue in this episode, we still don't know the ultimate plan of Loki or Sylvie, as every time it's mentioned or asked, neither of them actually confirms anything. We still don't know much about Sylvie's past, and despite the revelation about the variants, we still don't know the bigger connection between whatever the TVA is doing and why Sylvia wants to take it all down in the first place. Not gonna lie, this episode was a little disappointing for me, especially for it being the midpoint of the season, but we still have three episodes to go, so hopefully Marvel will redeem themselves. As always, leave your comments on what you thought about this video, and if you could, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll see you all in the next video.